Welcome back to Surya Dev QST Rebar's Property Matters. Sustainable development is all about using resources for human needs and still preserving the environment. In today's world where resources are fast depleting and development oftentimes unstructured, sustainable development is the need of the hour. Architecture Red, a Chennai-based firm, recently submitted a plan for the sustained urban development of Nordhavnen, an area near Copenhagen. We caught up with Kishore Panika, the founding partner of Architect Red, and he told us all about it. Architecture Red in Mandavali is a two-year-old architectural firm co-founded by Biju Kuryakos and Kishore Panikar. This firm recently worked in collaboration with FX Fowl, a New York-based architecture and planning firm. The project to come up with an urban design that would lead to the construction of a sustainable city. Now this project basically was a response to an open design ideas competition which was uh, organized by the city of Copenhagen in Denmark. Uh, primarily to explore ideas of uh, developing a 49 acre, uh, uh, sorry, that's about 500 acre city district called uh, Nordhavnen, which is on the outskirts of Copenhagen. Now, currently Nordhavnen is a, is a port terminal. It's primarily used for a lot of shipping related activities. And uh, the city of Copenhagen wanted to develop uh, Nordhavnen into, into a vibrant city district over the next uh, 50 years basically to uh, cater to the expansion of the city of Copenhagen itself. Once Architecture Red jumped on board, there was no looking back. They worked in close association with the team from FX Fowl for four long months and finally submitted their plans last September along with 200 odd other entries from all over the world. This duo team lost out at the competition to a local Danish firm, but there were other things in store. Then, uh, the VAN or the World Architecture News announced uh, its awards for uh, urban design for the year 2008-2009. Uh, we were one of the entries along with more than a hundred other entries for the North Avenue project. And there uh, that panel which consists of you know very eminent uh, architects and planners uh, internationally, uh, that panel uh, you know actually selected uh, this particular effort from amongst more than a hundred other entries. Uh, as you know, the best uh, effort towards uh, an, an, an urban design uh, uh, proposal for of that scale. Other than the World Architectural News Award for Best Urban Design Unbuilt, they also were the recipients of the Boston Society of Architects 2009 Unbuilt Architecture Award. So, uh, very rewarding because uh, you know to be recognized by peers and stalwarts from the fraternity. Uh, uh, over a you know over a competition of more than 100 other entries from a lot of other leading architects and planners worldwide, uh, that was, was a very rewarding and a very uh, fulfilling uh, achievement for us. Uh, being a young firm, it's it's a great motivation. Uh, it's it's a huge factor which uh, which propels us towards doing more uh, you know sustainable, cutting edge ideas when it comes to urban design and development. Nordhavnen is a 500-acre outcrop of Copenhagen, a pier-like strip that juts out towards the sea. The proposed plan intended to develop this area into a vibrant, sustainable city that would be a seamless extension of the main city of Copenhagen itself. The three key words that FX Fowl and Architecture Red focused on, extend, connect and weave. We summarized the whole design process as three. One was to connect, extend and to weave. When we say connect, it's primarily to connect the infrastructure of the city of Copenhagen into the site. Uh, extend uh, the waterways, because Copenhagen uh, traditionally has been a very water-based city. Uh, a lot of historical canals and uh, the fact that the water surrounds the site and I mean, meant that we wanted to look at uh, the city and water playing a very important role. Uh, and weaving uh, green spaces, uh, weaving open spaces along with the fabric of the, of the old development. The plan focused on developing the city in different stages, starting with the city itself, breaking it down into smaller sites and even smaller neighbourhoods. Adhering to different stipulations in the brief given by the city of Copenhagen, the team ensured that the new city would house 4,000 residents, create 4,000 jobs and provide access for 4,000 bicycles. Above all, the design is such that it would make the city pedestrian friendly. We looked at tying the transit lines together, which means get all the uh, the travel and the trans uh, all the uh, the rail the uh, roads etc 
uh, to be integrated along with uh, along a main uh, infrastructure spine which ran along the entire uh, development and from this spine we ensured that uh, most of the development or the architectural commercial spaces the residential spaces were within a 3 minute walk uh, also the residential areas which were further beyond the commercial spaces were linked uh, with uh, you know cycle tracks and uh, a series of pedestrian and green space networks to the transit hub This would also ensure that the people would make use of public transport. The team also wanted to capitalize on Nordhavnen's harbor setting and connect a central canal to Copenhagen's water network. They also planned on developing a secondary network of canals that would weave through different neighborhoods. Thanks to this, residents would have access to multiple modes of transport. The plan also defines a new standard for low carbon consumption, optimizing water resources and recycling materials in buildings. With new cities mushrooming all over India, firms like Architecture Red aim at applying these concepts locally. There's a huge potential to actually develop cities that are sustainable, that have an eye on the future, that are extremely walkable, uh, that are extremely pedestrian friendly, at the same time that are very environment uh, very uh, very environment friendly as well. So we are looking at uh, you know translating these ideas and these notions into our practice and uh, implementing them through our projects uh, going forward. Chennai could sure do with a plan like that. That's all the realty news we have for you this week. If you wish to feature your beautiful home or an upcoming property on the show, do write into us at feedback at ndtv-hindu.com and we'll be sure to visit you. Until next time, goodbye.